Hey there, Gemini. Welcome to your love tarot reading for September 2022. Do I have this right? Yes. So this is a general love reading for Gemini. However, cross watchers are also welcome. Keep in mind that the roles of the individuals or energies identified in this reading may be swapped and that the intensity of the situation or energies may vary. So take with you whatever resonates and leave behind for others whatever does not. I'll be closing off this reading with some thoughts of your current and future love interests. So for the, those of you interested in those messages, you can stick around for that. In this first column, we look at your love vibrations. So generally the energy for love that you're putting out there and receiving. In the second column, we look at the connection that you have with your body and your senses, specifically for sensual pleasure. And this third column, we look at the potential for romance this month. And in this last column, we get love advice from your higher self. Okay, so Gemini, in terms of the love vibration this month, you have this community work harmony B. So it seems that, you know, it makes me think of that term of, uh, like, catching, you catch more flies with bees than honey. No, with honey, more flies with honey than vinegar. But it's also making me think that, um, you know, the energy you're putting out there receiving in terms of love really are, are going to be um, like from either dating apps or um, a work situation or even maybe getting set up with a friend, meeting someone that way. You have strength, the Prince of Wands or the uh, uh, Knight of Wands is the equivalent. And you have the Seven of Cups choices. So with the, the Seven of Cups, it also makes me think of like online dating. You have, you know, this profile, this profile, this pro profile. With the uh, Prince of Wands, it says, you know, instigation here. So it, it's a sense of really pursuing like passions um, and really kind of, kind of quick. Um, with the strength card here, you know, maybe there is um, like a fire sign, um, especially with the, also the, the Prince or Knight of Wands, some fire sign, either Leo, uh, Sagittarius, Aries. Uh, there may also be a need for you just to build up some courage and really engage in whatever this... Um, you know, community is, maybe a game night, maybe, you know, kind of a, like stepping outside your comfort zone. So let's take a look at that strength card because that's the one that's I'm drawn to the most. You have this Empress card. So, you know, a sense of definitely having you realize that you are this beautiful, um, sensual being. Uh, you can really kind of, you know, create a, it's almost like a, a feeling of intensity, of um, passion and fire with whoever you kind of want to connect with. So let's take a look at this. Prince of Wands here. You have the Four of Pentacles. So this is a little bit more 
um, kind of closed off and just kind of isolated, being kind of almost stuck in comparison with someone who is really going out there, interacting with you know, new potential and possibilities. So let's take a look at the Seven of Cups, the choices. You have the Eight of Cups. So to some degree, you know, Gemini, what it's seeming to me is that you have a lot of opportunities when it comes to love. You really uh, just need to kind of have the courage to make a choice, you know, be, go out there. And when it, if it doesn't work out, just, you know, great to meet you and move on. Um, and then go to another choice. It's almost as if, you know, there's a need to be like, have fun and kind of curious, but also um, there is, I would say there is a need to understand that it's okay, you know, to kind of walk away from this. And it might be, uh, you know, a lot of people don't like the concept of, of dating in general or needing to walk away from a situation. Um, but here it's, you know, there is, you have a lot to offer, um, and to some degree, it's almost, maybe you're like the queen bee, like you have a lot to offer, um, and maybe there is a tendency or a fear of you kind of letting things linger on too long because you do have a lot of, like, vibrancy to offer. So here, in terms of the connection with your body and your senses for sensual pleasure, you have poison ivy, irritability, profanity. So this card kind of begs the question of, is there someone else that is kind of, you know, irritating you, rubbing you the wrong way, or is there something about, about you um, that is rubbing you the wrong way or someone else the wrong way. So you've got the three of discs or um, three of pentacles, the eight of discs, and the king of cups. Now it says the word control over here. Um, so Gemini, if you have a, a, a tendency to need to control things, um, that would that would be interesting, but I tend to think of the King of Cups as more as emotionally steady, um, someone who is someone who is able to manage their emotions and take you know allows for that flow. So here um, you have the three again. Um, kind of indicates a sense of community. So, you know, and the, the eight of discs here, it says dedication on the card. It's usually a sense of really kind of um, putting your heart and soul into something. So it, there is a sense that in terms of your connection to your, your body, you have that connection with your body um, there is that potential for sensual pleasures, but it, it's almost a sense of when others start getting involved, you are, it's almost like maybe too sensitive. Um, I'm kind of thinking of, you know, you know what makes you feel good and pleasurable for you, but when others, when, you know, making out, um, hooking up what whatever kind of sexual um, connections are going on maybe it's you know you're too sensitive and um, things that would be you know pleasurable normally um, kind of rub you the wrong way I guess that there was no pun intended there the first time I said it 
So let's take a look at the King of Cups here. You have Three of Cups. It says friendship here. So it, again, this concept of three, when you start expanding and including others. Um, so there is definitely, you're, there's definitely ability to be sensual and enjoy pleasure. So let's take a look at this Eight of Discs. You have this Justice card. So it's a, it is a sense of really, you know the balance of your own body. Um, you know if someone touches you in a certain way or you touch yourself in a certain way, you know what is going to, to happen and take, take place. And it's a very um, kind of understood, I kind of wanted to say it's like, um, uh, what's the word? It's not a sixth sense. Maybe it's a sixth, It's automatic. It's automatic. You know, it's like, oh, I'm going to, you know, if so, <laughs> it's making me think of if someone were to start talking dirty to you and like, I'm going to do this, that, and the other. And it's like, oh, but if you do that, then, you know, I'm not, I'm only going to like it if you like, you know, do it to this extent and not to that extent. And um, so what it's making me think of as well, this justice card is a card of like decisions and communication. And Gemini, we have a Mercury record grade this month and since your rolling planet is Mercury I would say there is a need to kind of um, pay attention a little bit more to communications make sure you know things work the way you expect it to work if you need batteries to connect with your body and your um, senses then make sure you have you know you have your batteries, things are charged, things along those lines. So in terms of the three of pentacles, you have the moon. And here is where there are unknowns, uh, lack of certainty. Um, there is that potential to kind of tap into more to your, your senses. Um, and so here there, there's, a good connection when it comes to your body for sensual pleasure and you are very aware of what kind of changes the pleasure to non-pleasure and that's something it seems where you just have to be aware of it maybe communicate those things to other people in terms of the potential for romance this month you have this soul connection card you also have the princess or page of cups and it says dreams here you have the queen of cups down here it says intuition and you have the king of discs or king of pentacles it says power here so there is a potential for you to really you know tap into that love energy, that imagination, sense of uh, maybe flirtations. And here, this king of pentacles, you know, that could be you. Maybe it's someone that you have a soul connection with. Maybe an earth sign, Taurus, uh, you know, Virgo. Um, what else is there? Taurus, Virgo, and I know I'm forgetting the other, the other Earth one. It'll come to me later. Let's take a look at this King of Discs or King of Pentacles. Let's see what we have there. You have Eight of Swords. It says isolation, but I think of the Eight of Swords as more of a restriction. So it, it may be that you meet an individual who is really not fully uh, 
fully um, open. Maybe they are a little bit of self-critical. Um, maybe they are like a workaholic, something along those lines. Let's take a look at the princess or page of cups up here. You have ace of disc, ace of pentacles. It says wealth on this card, but to me it's, it's more about uh, a new opportunity. So really being in this place of um, kind of tapping into this curiosity, this um, sense of being like sensitive to your environment and allowing, you know, this love, this positive love energy to, to work. There's a sense that you could uh, either meet a soul connection or um, maybe you already have this soul connection and it develops a little bit more. Let's take a look at the Queen of Cups. You have nine of discs, nine of pentacles, and it says culmination. So really you, it seems like, you know, this empress energy is really, um, what's the word I'm thinking of? <laughs> popping off. This empress energy is, is really popping off and um, be on the lookout for this, this soul connection. And it's still like bugging me that I can't think of the other um, earth elements. So there's, there's Taurus, there's Virgo, um, Capricorn, that's it, Capricorn. Capricorns are also workaholics. Virgos are self-critical. Taurus, also workaholics. So we'll see. All right, in terms of love advice from your higher self, you have this card of contemplation. So it's almost a sense of once you come up with the, the question that you have about your love life, like down deep in your soul or your heart or spirit that you really want answered possibly in relation to this soul connection. Once you kind of get that true question of what is it you want or want to know, want to feel about love, want to experience, whatever that question is, once you truly formulate it, it's as if the answer um, and the path to that answer will reveal itself. So here you have this princess of swords, page of swords has curiosity on here. So maybe it's, you know, thinking about what is it that that question is. You have the eight of cups, it says retreat. And you also have the star over here. So to some degree, it's, it's a sense of like, just allowing things to happen. And, you know, if you are like not forcing it, just allowing things to kind of linger. And even in the, in the uncertainty, in the, the, what's it called? Uncomfortable silence that might take place, really just allowing that to and help you formulate the question that you want to ask. So let's take a look at that Princess of Swords. You have the Queen of Wands. So maybe the question that you want to ask has to do with how you can, again, tap into this Empress energy and incorporate that into your your love life or, you know, um, a sense of really 
being curious about your potential and not necessarily, again, this eight of cups over here, this like, you know, being okay to walk away from something to experience something different. So let's see what we have here in the eight of cups. You have the two of cups. So definitely this, this concept of, you know, walking away from something will lead you to another, like more compatible love situation. So let's see what we have here with the star. You have the high priestess tapping into your, your intuition, a sense of, you know, whatever it is that this contemplation is about, um, your, your intuition kind of knows. There's a sense of your inner knowing, your, your, your internal secrets, um, not necessarily trying to hide anything, but secrets and hopes that you really want for yourself and how you want to be in a relationship. So Gemini, let's go ahead and pull some cards to get a message from your current love interest or your future love interest. Okay, well, these three want to come out. You have on fire. I think I mentioned like a fire sign over here. And you've got the queen of wands. You've got imagine. You've got these page of cups. It says dreams. And the queen of cups here. And this curiosity. And gaining speed. So things are really um, in terms of, you know, what you could have potentially with you know, someone right now or someone in the future, the soul connection, it's all there for you. So I'm hoping this reading provides a helpful perspective of your love in September. To uncover more about your month, check out readings for each of your sun, moon, and rising signs. We'll see you next time. Take care.